الرحمن الرحيم انا شاكر جدا على دعوتي جامعة الازهر للاشتراك في المؤتمر السنوي بتاع جامعة الازهر اشكر دكتور ماجد جدا عشان ودكتور برعي وكل الزملاء الموجودين على دعوتي My, my lecture today is in scopic management of uh, valid esophagus. as you all know more that you share symptoms and in the same times uh, you have extra surgical uh, manifestations uh, and you know symptomatic with uh, uh, syndromes with typical symptoms uh, uh, symptoms with surgical injury so symptoms injuries so with that injury and they establish the flux syndromes and uh, uh, what's called extra uh, symptoms, which is a cough, uh, laryngitis, and asthma. So all of you know about that. Actually, actually, girl, it is very bad in quality of life. And if you look for this lady, she has a girl symptoms, and you look at her eye, it's a bit like not normal. So you can detect the, uh, the patients with girl or any problem. From that, so quality of life is very bad in people with GERD. Endoscopic management are many speaking about endoscopic management of GERD, and that you see endoscopic anti reflux at the radio frequency ablation with the RETA or the transporal uh, fundoplications. There are many techniques from that, or mucosal resections, ARMA, anti reflux mucosal. So, this is our speaking today, it's not about anti reflux uh, therapy. But about uh, ballet. But I should mention that there are many, many endoscopic management for antiflux. It needs two or three lectures of that. Complications of GERD, it's ballet esophagus, it's asylum metaphysia esophagus, associated with development of adenocarcinoma. As you see, that we have a squamous epithelium, which is a, a contact with injury, acids, bile sore, recording muscles, stopped, lead to chronic inflammation. Then some genetic race, uh, because ballet esophagus is not too much in, uh, in our country, as I know, and I think all of you agree about that, uh, uh, but it is really uh, spreading in the Western country. So genetics and race and something they have some relation. It leads to intestinal and metaplasia, and then low-grade dysplasia, high-grade dysplasia, then invasive adenocarcinoma. Accumulation of genetic changes can lead to that. Uh, this is Norman Barrett who discovered the Barrett esophagus. It is a journal of doctors, which presents at least one centimeter of the past columnar epithelium, cerebral color mucosa, replacing the normal stratified squamous lining of the esophagus. Presence of intestinal metaplasia in biopsy, which is probably sense. So this is this is how uh, uh, to 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 diagnose Barrett uh, uh, esophagus. Uh, our lecture today is in scopic management of ballet esophagus, and we have some techniques. So I'll try in this uh, uh, few minutes to speak about simply about EMR, which is in scopic mucosal resections, need chromoendoscopy, or, or it need now all the new technology of endoscopy, estimation the depths by endoscopy biopsy, EOS, magnifying, magnified endoscopy. The new mechanarking, lifting, and the resections. So the simple what is this is uh, mucosectomy, either by snaring so with you can lift by a double channel in the scopes, you can lift it and then you can put your snare, or by this cap technique, which you normally use now, cap technique, you inject and then you, you suck, then you put the snares and then you remove. So it's simple. It proved that uh, 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 endoscopic mucosal section for high glycemia and LD. Adenocarcinoma is safe, provide a large specimen, which is very important for histopathology, and it can change in the diagnosis. A potential curative for high-grade dysplasia and T1M 
uh, cancers. It most appropriate for demarcated lesions. Follow-up is mandatory uh, to see if any other lesions are recurrent. There is another new by using band ligations and viruses. Now we can use also uh, 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 the band ligation for mixectomy. But remember that when you use band ligations uh, for uh, mucosectomy, that the channels, it's enough to contain the, guy, the wire of the, uh, it should be not 2.8 uh, channel in the scope, it should be a wider 3.7, because you can, you will pass the, um, you will pass the snare through, through uh, the, with the wire uh, of the band ligation in the same. So it need you can it need a longer a larger scope because sometimes you put your band ligation normally scope but you you make sections but you cannot uh, make snaring. Some people using band ligations they make multiple band of the ballet esophagus and then they put the snare they remove the cap and they put a snare without band ligation. But it's better to use a large channel in the upper end also. Another technique was uh, radio frequency uh, injury delivered through bipolar electrode. You have two system, halo system, which is circumferential, and the halo system, which is focal, which can use it through the scopes. And this is the two, two techniques of parent, which is this is the halo uh, system, and this is uh, the small focal one. And radio frequency, either in 360 degree or in uh, on the right side, or uh, this is a uh, 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 here, this is a uh, 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 palate and this is after ablations, and this is by this small area, and this is after ablations uh, by focal one. So endoscopic therapy may be combination of resection first, and then abrasion of residual palate to refer to surgery or management of high grade dysplasia and mucosal cancers. The scopic mucosal resection is recommended for staging and treatment of this plastic uh, esophagus with visible lesions. The efficacy in patient with high grade basically reduce the progression to surgical cancer. And radio frequency and low grade dysplasia induced regression to normal appearing squamous hemophilia in more than 90% of the cases. Patient with high grade dysplasia should be evaluated in a multi disciplinary referral center. It's not everyone choose it the technique. It should be techniques with uh, many abroad surgery, uh, uh, radiology, uh, endoscopist, and uh, all the pathology also is very important. So it should be in a good center to do that. This is the, this is the jewels of the esophagus, and this is the barrett esophagus, and this is very important to do that. So it's a simple idea about take home message. Barrett esophagus is a very malignant condition. The best predictor of progression into high grade dysplasia or uh, in carcinoma anxiety in dysplasia. This plastic palate should be treated endoscopically. This is no any nodular lesion, as I showed you before, in Barrett esophagus should be resected endoscopically first to see what's happened. So histology is very important. So in this is a, a, a few minutes, I can show you how a, a, a GERD, which is, can, you can take two days in GERD esophagus, you can take two days in anti-reflux management of GERD, you can take one day on palate esophagus, you can take as now to show you that as uh, uh, some uh, new techniques, it should be used for palate esophagus to prevent of cancer. I think you have many questions, but you can ask, there are many people present now as a chairpersons, they can answer that because, but I will meet you, all of you, in the evening tomorrow uh, 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 as a chairpersons at five o'clock. So if anyone need any question for me, they can ask me, but I think as a chairperson can waiting for that. So waiting all of you in December and 24 of our uh, uh, Big Congress and also 14 uh, postgraduate course. This is in December and 9 of December, 9, 10, and 11. And I hope everyone will be there. The meeting will be in the Marriott Hotel. And we enjoy that everyone has come. But until now, about 15 guests were ready to come to Egypt from all.
all over the country, all over the world, to share us with this technology. Thank you very much, and I hope that you got interested in this very simple idea. Thank you.